Hey everyone, hi there today. I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a brand new Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo One 14A DA05 or the model number exactly is an 82GW. You can find this information at the bottom label at the bottom of the laptop and that's it. And the client brought this one in because these ones are shipped out with a 64 gig or I believe or 32 gig SSD eMMC chip on the board. So that means it's not even a normal SSD. eMCC chips are not meant for an operating system. They just worn down really quick and they are not as even even fast enough. They should be on the phones or tablets. And this one is pretty much a tablet. It's not even a laptop. You cannot upgrade the hard drive on this one or the internal storage on that. Uh, people I see in this area, no, you know, you can add an M.2 slot, this and that. I'm just going to open it up. I'm going to explain it why you can't upgrade on this one and what you can. You probably could send it to a service tech to replace you in EMMC chip uh, to desolder it and solder back in a bigger capacity, about 128 or 256 gig EMMC chip. And that's still kind of risky depending on the tech guy that you want to go to do this job but yeah so to open it up first thing uh, you want to grab yourself a screwdriver set as always i use the ifixit screwdriver set and from this set we're going to use a phillips number zero if you get the pro set you can get the opening tools and tweezers and many other stuff if you don't want to get the pro get the simple screwdriver set and grab yourself a guitar pick a metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening covers so what we're going to do at the bottom of the laptop, we're going to remove all the screws that we see at the bottom cover. Remember, all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Just go ahead and remove them. Also, if you guys find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by just clicking that like button and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. It will be a great help and support. All right, once you remove all the screws, all you need to do is to grab the opening tool, stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. And you just want to twist it like this, go all around in the front end, and do the side halfway through towards the top back to the left side. You want to hear those clicks, big clicks. Once you did the front and the half, it just comes up, grab it, and just wiggle around and lift it up. It will snap the rest of the clips right down here we can see the whole motherboard this is just a tablet sized motherboard the rams are solid on the board there's no fan just a heat pipe and a heat sheet shield right here the emmc chip is right somewhere over there underneath is soldered on the board there is a space right over here to add an m.2 slot which is an uh, m.2 ssd you can add right over here but even if you get the jack here soldered on the board i seen people are like oh no you look i made a video i just soldered and it worked but they will actually never show you the work in progress that actually detected just say like show you guys because there is no way you can just by putting a jack you will get the m.2 working because you need to update the firmware on the bios you need a power management voltage coming through this jack many other components come in effect right there so it's not just simply slamming a jack right there solder and then you're ready to go it's not like that there's no sata port for regular hard drive and bmmc chip is right under the shield plate right underneath and it looks like a random chip the chip side i'm not just going to remove that the chip is like the size of this one ram chip you can send it to a tech guy. I will leave the link for the bigger capacity EMMCs. You can purchase it. They can just unsolder it, remove it, and place a bigger capacity EMMC chip in there. But make sure that if you take it to a good technician to do that job, otherwise your laptop is going to be useless. All right, there's not much down here. So that's it. Now we're going to grab the top cover, bottom cover, bring it on, and just 
push it down in the corners, in the mid, in the back. Just make sure you hit those big clicks. And the last thing would be to just grab the bottom screws and screw them right on top. And that should be all. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. If you guys have any question requests, please feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can.